So look at the two, <clears throat> the two ear, ear cartilages. They look like little ropes. One here, one here. You want to put it right in the middle of those two. So I'm going to show today how to put a cali Calicrate Pro Bander on some bull calves and it is a uh, device that allows castration so that you don't have to actually cut the calf's testicles off. It um, cuts off the blood supply and the scrotum and the testicles within atrophy and basically slough off in 10 to 14 days. So one thing you got to make sure you do when you do this is you've got to give these calves a tetanus shot or they could get tetanus. So this is the bander. This is brand new. I've never used it. And you buy these bands. They're pre-made. They're a little bit pricey. They're I think about $2.50 a piece but you hook them up and I'll show you how to hook them up here after I do the first calf well I can show you right now so they come like this they've got this little collar that fits right over there and then you hook up the tensioning device and you want to just have just enough tension that that engages right there you don't want to pull this through at all and so it's got a ratchet mechanism and you just ratchet it, ratchet it, ratchet it and it pulls this whole device through this and the scrotum with the testicles in it is tensioned until this band is tight around the testicles. And by then, as you'll see, these loops are way down here and when you get the tensioning, it's got an automatic built-in tensioning device so that when this um, collar here is tensioned and this slides on this handle, when it gets down to this silver line that's in, embedded into the mechanism so it can't rub off with the paint, then that's the correct tension of this on the testicles. And then you, it's got a built-in cutting device here. So when you get it to there, you're going to have one arm coming here, one arm coming here, and you just hit it like that and it automatically cuts these bands and it'll leave about a half inch of the bands um, exposed from, from this gizmo here. So a very nice system for a bloodless castration. You can castrate these big calves and they act like nothing ever happened. They never go off feed. They don't have any other issues, so uh, we'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Okay, so I like to put my three fingers and thumb through the band and you want to hold on to this right here so it doesn't get weak on you. So I'm going to I'm going to get up in here and you, you think to yourself, well, good gosh. How does he keep from getting kicked? And the answer is, sometimes you don't. So I got it positioned above the testicles. I'm going to start the ratchet going. I 
had a little technical difficulty there. And I'm watching this right here. I'm going to make sure testicles are both in there. And watch the tensioning here as that slide mechanism draws down. And you can see I'm right there. Okay, I'm going to go one more click. And then the cutter's down here. So I'm going to pop the cutter and I'm done. So I'm going to give the calf a shot of tetanus toxoid. you got to make sure you keep this vaccine cool. I've got it in a foil pouch with a cold pack in it. If it gets hot, it kills the vaccine and it's useless to you. So you got to really pay particular attention to vaccine um, efficacy by making sure it's stored correctly. So I'm going to pull up one cc, that's the dose. So this bottle will do 10 calves, it'll do 10 horses, it'll do 20 sheep. The sheep dose is a half a cc. And I'm going to, I just rub them real hard here. but. I give it intramuscularly. So this one I'm just going to tag and I've marked this tag it, it comes pre-printed with the number one this is going to be my heifers I keep this year she was born in 2021 she's out of cow number 18 so I can track her mom probably a lot better ways to identify but that's the one I'm going to use for right now and we'll progress through the year. So look at the two, the two ear, ear cartridges. They look like little ropes. One here, one here. You want to put it right in the middle of those two. fed these calves just a little bit of feed and I just want to show you what these testicles look like about 12 hours or so after we applied the bander you can see there's not much swelling there's a little bit but It's amazing to me that these calves, they're bright, they're, they're happy. Um, they don't act like they're in discomfort at all. They went right to feed. I've had these calves pinned up for, oh, 10 days or so because I weaned them and had to go through the balling process. And now the cows don't care, the calves don't care. But look at those testicles there not much to them now a little swelling on a couple of them as would be expected but rapidly that tissue will start to atrophy and shrink up and then where the band is applied that's basically a ligature and it will cause that tissue below the band to slough off and it'll just fall off and I'll be looking for the little green things in the pasture and pick them up as I see them. But I'm very, very pleased 
with this um, Calicrate Pro Bander. These calves are doing well. They're happy, not stressed. All is good here.